Alright you beautiful bargain hunters, deal delvers and all round cheapskates, it's me Glyn, Cheapskate Gaming and on today's budget game on Wonderful World of Games we're going to have a little look at this game, The Last Campfire. Now this is actually from a very reputable company, Hello Games. Now if you don't know who Hello Games are, they're the guys that made um, uh, No Man's Sky, the big 3D space go anywhere never see the whole game because it's so bloody big game really good game um anyway so before they did that i think they did this either just before or, or they actually did it just after i think it was actually released after let me have a look where it says the release date i don't know i can't say i think it was released just after uh no man's sky came out um anyway I know what you're saying. How much can you get this game for? Because normally it goes for around on Steam, it goes for around 12, 13 quid. Sometimes on a deal it's three or four quid. But I'm only going to go to one store today. We're going to go over to a neighbor and someone is selling it for 74 pence. Now with charges that comes to £1.14. Okay, so that's an absolute bargain for a good, you know, it's going to be a good quality game straight away because it's Hello Games. They don't make rubbishy games anyway i know what you're saying let's go check it out oh but before we go check it out a little word from my friend here who's got something to tell you uh, i'm donald j trump and i want to tell you about cheap skate gaming save money on games consoles and accessories subscribe today and get the best deals reviews and tips ah oh, cheers donald thank you for that anyway Back to the game. Let's go and have a look. All right. Okay. So here we are in the main menu screen of the game, and of course we'd always go and have a little look at the options. So let's have a little look at graphic options, uh, and there's not much to choose from here. Graphic quality, uh, a little bit of anti-aliasing, and uh, which monitor it displays on, which is that's quite interesting. Okay, we come back out of there, and uh, we'll. Go into the game now. I've, as you can see, I've already played this for a good few hours. I'm somewhat the way in there, so there's a little bit of a spoiler. Um, but then again, you probably won't remember by the time you get this far in. So here's your guy, like a little sack clothed guy with a little face on him, very unique. Um, you have uh, essentially this is like a puzzle, 3D puzzle game. So um, you've got characters you meet, like the pig was stuffed to bursting, having filled up on fruit in the orchard. And you can see it's got quite a nice set. Uh, it's got a little talky narrative bit. Um, I'm looking at these little black spludgy guys in the distance here. Oh, they just disappeared. See how they popped out and then they disappeared. I'm not sure what they're about. I think I've got to find another something to put on here by the looks of things. And it'll be something a bit like this. I need two of them. So that's essentially what we've got to do. Might try and put a skull on there actually. So let's see what this skull does. But that's obviously not the trick. Let's see, see how the pig likes to follow the fruit. So <laughs> I pick that fruit, the pig will follow me now. Quite where I'm taking this pig. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing on this puzzle. But uh... Whee, down the slide, uh, and I fell in the muck. Classic. Hold on. Look. Here we go. <laughs> you got to keep a little lookout. Things like that. Hembo was jealous of the pig, snoring contentedly. Those Doran pigs. They can come up here. Oh, it's a big frog. The frog was relieved to see Ember again. They asked that Ember take the lotus seed to their old friend, the cook. We are going to take this lotus seed that I'm carrying to the cook. I 
Hello? Okay, these are the more sort of classic puzzly sort of action areas. The stranger closed their eyes and let the fog overwhelm them. No, tell me to get across here then. You do have this like horn thing you can blow. Got to remember how to blow it now. There we go. Soft, gentle fog. It held them like a vice. So obviously this is like a logic puzzle now you can see. Oh no, that's not right. Ah, that's one of them done. thing is now to get that out the way while we mess with this one that's that one done so we've done two of them see now we need to get this middle one i think was this the middle one yeah there we go the took a little bit longer than i thought but that's the sort of logic puzzles we got here we go look and we'll touch these these are the embers Lovely. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Right, so that's that done. Just want to have a little explore over here. Looks like there could be something hiding in here. Oh, there was. I've already been in there. <laughs> open box. Well, essentially, that is the game. You've got to go around this uh, 3D sort of puzzle game. Um, beautifully presented. Um, Obviously, this area I'm in here now is a little bit foggy, so it might look a bit funny on the screen, but um, it is a great game. Really good. Yeah, it'll only work on certain objects. Anyway, this has been a look at Last Campfire, uh, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Oh, by the way, this is episode 50, so I'm going to be doing a roundup of the last, um, my top five games out of 50, but also, once I've done that top five games, my work starts so i'll be going away and i won't be many videos released up until maybe september so it'll be like a sort of four or five month hiatus from youtube so um, don't worry i haven't died or anything i've just got to do my work um essentially i do a lot of work over a few months and that then allows me to take the winter off where i can make lovely youtube videos for you okay so we'll uh see you on the next one guys um and of course don't remember i'll i'll explain it when i do my next video okay this has been glenn chief gaming and we'll see you Ta -ra -ra.